hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's finish this game of Scrabble first. How many peas in pizza? There aren't any peas in pizza. There's mushrooms and anchovies and peppers. Never mind. Pizza. Move. OK, OK. Just what it says, crunch. Hey, wait a minute. That's crunch spelled with a C. What makes you such a big expert? Uh, Patty, how are we going to get Ross's presents into the closet within City right there? I'll tell you what, I'll get him into a nice friendly conversation. That'll distract him. Uh, no, it won't. That would only make him suspicious. You're right. OK, I'll get him into a nice friendly argument. Once I've got his attention, you make a beeline for the closet, okay? All right. Well, well, well. Playing Scrabble, fellas? No, we're drilling for oil. <laughs> drilling for oil? That's very funny, Ross. <laughs> Will you put an egg in your shoe and beat it? Oh, you're really a whip today. I can't. Hey, come on. Give it a. Oh, now you've done it. I'm sorry, Ross. Uh, I think you've got them all. How many were there? Seven? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, here's another one. Okay, I think you've got them all now. I got it! D-O-G, dog. I'm tired of this game. Why don't we go outside and hack around? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, fellas. How about a nice game of three-handed scrap? Then you'll play with us? Oh, sure, I'd love to. Okay. Are you ready? To play Scrabble with you? Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. <laughs> you know, you're right. Your sister is a flip. No, she's not. She didn't really want to play. No? Nah, she was just keeping us busy while Kathy hid my birthday presents. How do you know? I just know. It's kind of a gift I have. Like, like mental telepathy? No, like eavesdropping. Lit post everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But Patty's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair! But they're cousins, identical cousins all the way. One pair of matching bookends, different as night and day. Where Kathy adores a minuet, the ballet russe. And Crepe Suzette. Our Patty loves to rock and roll. A hot dog makes her lose control. What a wild duet. Still they're cousins. Identical cousins and you find. They laugh alike. They walk alike. At times they even talk alike. You can lose your mind. When cousins are two of a kind. gives me lunch in my room. Not even when they want you out of the way so they can talk about you? Is that what they're doing? Of course. They're discussing my birthday. Boy, you sure got grown-ups figured out, don't you, Ross? Why not? I've been around them all my life. <laughs> eat, eat. But we always give Ross a surprise party on his birthday. Mommy was younger then. Can't argue with that kind of logic. I mean, he's not a baby anymore. I think a surprise party would just embarrass him. Do you really think it would, Patty? Of course. We can't just give him one of those old boy parties anymore. And he doesn't know enough girls. He's at that awkward in-between age. He's too old for marbles and too young for martinis. <laughs> well, all right. I guess we'll skip the birthday party this year. Good. Right. right. Right now, they're downstairs planning a surprise party for me. I have one every year. It's kind of an old family tradition, you know? Then I should go ahead and get you a present? Well, that's up to you. But you look pretty silly coming to a birthday party without one. 
But besides his presence, I think we should do something to celebrate Ross's birthday. Well, what do you think he'd like? I've got a great idea. I saw an ad in the paper. Excuse me, Papa. Here, the creature that swallowed the earth. It's perfect. Perfect for what? See the monsters, half vegetable, half human. See raw violence as horror stalks the streets. See the earth devoured alive, gulped by gold. It's raw. Yes, he's mad about monster pictures. You mean take him to see that for his birthday? Well, if you really think he'd enjoy that sort of thing. You know, I think he'd love it. Good. Now all we have to do is find somebody to take him. Thank you for volunteering, Patty. <laughs> The best part is watching them try to keep it a secret every year. I'll bet. Hey, Slick. The things they do to get me out of the house till the party's ready. Like once, a long time ago when I was just a kid, they told Patty to take me to one of those merry-go-rounds on a truck and give me a few rides. Was that funny? Yeah. I wouldn't get off and go home. <laughs> then once, she took me to the movies, and when we get there, she says, Oh, dear, I just realized I saw this picture. So we go home, and of course, there's a party. I'm dying to find out what they're going to pull this year. Enter. Uh, Ross, could I speak to you, dear? In a minute. You let her call you dear. <laughs> On my birthday, I have to make these allowances. As soon as that's over, she goes back to you little rat. Now, what can I do for you? How would you like to see the creature that swallowed the earth? Yeah. Good. What's the joke? No, no, it's not a joke. It's a movie. I thought maybe you'd like to go with me tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. You know, for your birthday. That's right. Tomorrow is my birthday, isn't it? Yeah. What do you say? Is it a date? Sure. And thanks, Patty. It's my pleasure. No. It's my pleasure. OK. Have a good time. Did you hear that? She's doing the movie bit again. Boy, you sure were right. Let's make out a list of the guys who want to come to the party. Oh, boy. Joey. And Al. Al's a good guy. Yeah. And Nikki. No, girls. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Call you later. Oh, Martin. Hmm? Uh, Margie has a problem. Her in-laws came in unexpectedly from Texas. That is a problem. Uh, Martin. <laughs> and so she was going to have the bridge club at her house tomorrow, but since we're not giving Ross a surprise birthday party, uh, would you mind if I had them here? The in-laws? The bridge club. No, no, of course not. Oh, darling, thank you. That's really very thoughtful. Yeah. Besides, it gives me a good excuse to get out of the house and play some golf. <laughs> See now, I better call the bakery. How will you folks know that's a list of people you want to come to the party? There's a little hint, see? A list of my most sociable friends. You're a master. Please, no hero worshiping. Is this Pfizer's Bakery? This is Mrs. Lane. I'd like to put in a special order for tomorrow, please. Would you send over a dozen chocolate whipped cream tarts, please? Fine, thank you. We're in big trouble. Well, she ordered 12 cakes, and we've only got six guys on the list. What are we going to do? Go back upstairs and invite six more guys. Genius. Sheer genius. <laughs> we'll use a bigger glass next time. Ron! Come on, we'll be late for the movie. Be right there. Did you hear that, Stanley? I'd better hurry, or I'll be late for the movie. Yeah, I wish I hadn't found out. It makes it tough to play along with them. Well, I should be home in about 15 minutes, so you and the rest of the guys can come over anytime. Right. Bye. Are you sure you wouldn't like to go with us, Kathy? Oh, I'd love to, Patty. But a peculiar thing happens to me at horror movies. What? I get horrified. <laughs> Besides, I have a tennis date with Anne. Thank you. Patty, don't let Ross see the movie more than twice. I want him home in time for dinner. Oh, don't worry, Mom. I'll have all I can do to sit through it once. Oh, Martin, if you expect to make your escape, I suggest you do it now, because the uh, whole gang will be here any moment. Ross, what are you all dressed up for? Well, don't you think I should be dressed for my own... Oops. <laughs> We're only going to the movies. Sure, the movies. Yeah, don't worry, Mom. I'll bring him home in time. 
And Ross, I don't want you stuffing yourself with a lot of popcorn and junk. Do you understand? You mean at the <laughs> movies? Yes. Don't worry. There isn't much chance of my stuffing myself at the movies. Ross, are you feeling all right? Me? Great. Have a good time at the movie, Ross. At the movie? Sure, thanks. You bet. Oh, I'll help you with that out, Natalie. Oh, would you, Kathy? Thank you. Of course, sir. Are you sure you're all right? Sure. Let's go, Patty. Right. We don't want to miss the beginning of the movie. Oh, certainly not. Ta-ta. <laughs> Keep an eye on him, will you, Patty? Yeah. I don't know what's with him. Maybe his tie's too tight. Oh, I think he's just excited because it's his birthday. No, there's something wild going on. I get that terrible feeling we're living with a time bomb. Ah, it's just my imagination. Well, see ya. Well, I better get going. I gotta meet Otto King at the country club. Well, maybe it's silly, but I feel guilty. Why? Because it's Ross's birthday. You're going golfing. I'm having a bridge party. Kathy's playing tennis. Natalie, Ross is doing what he likes to do. He's watching a half-vegetable monster devour the earth. I do hope we're not making a mistake by not having a party for him. So do I. Now, believe me, I'm his father. And the last thing in the world he's thinking of is a surprise birthday party. <gasps> oh, the girls are here. The thundering herd. I'll go out the back way. Well, as long as you're here, the least you can do is say hello. The least I can do is say goodbye. <gasps> oh, Look, girls, the first husband we've caught this year. Uh, not quite. I was just on my way out. Four. <laughs> my dear, bye. Oh, hi, Stanley. Ross isn't here. He said half an hour. Am I too early? Too early for what? For Ross's big surprise party. So Ross didn't want to let on, but he knew about the surprise party all the time. He knew about the... Pat, he was right. The time bomb is going off. <laughs> he even heard you ordering the cakes. And when he heard you order a dozen, he called up and invited more guests. Oh, no. Am I the first one? Oh, yes. And are there going to be many more? I'll say. Everybody's coming. As Patty would say, oh, boy. There's nothing wrong, is there? Wrong? Oh, no, nothing's wrong. Everything is just fine. Good. Gee, Mrs. Lane, I can't tell you how much Ross is looking forward to this party. Oh, good, that's fine. Stanley, now you just wait out on the patio until the other boys get here, and here's some cookies to tide you over. <sighs> Kathy, you're right. About what? About, oh, boy. <laughs> well, I don't think we have much choice. Since most of the guests seem to be on their way, there's nothing else for us to do but find the host. We're having a birthday party. All right, I'll call the theater and see if I can get in touch with Oh, Kathy. would you, Kathy? And I'll go to the market and get some hot dogs and lemonades and, and party favors and prizes. Oh, and if the boys come before I get back, maybe they can learn to play bridge. Hello, information? May I please have the telephone number in Brooklyn Heights? Creature that swallowed the earth. Looks like a great picture, doesn't it? Yeah, I wish I could see it sometime. What? I mean, uh, I can't wait. Hey, hiya, Ross. You going to the movie? Well, uh, sort of. What do you mean you going to the movie, sort of? You're either going or you're not. Oh, uh, Ross, wait there, hmm? I'm not. They gave me a surprise party today. Oh, I get it. The old decoy trick. To get you out of the house while they're getting everything ready. Yeah, they're real amateurs. It's kind of pitiful. Yeah, my folks, too. Say, uh, so you're having a surprise party, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh... Many happy returns, and hope you have a good time at your party. You have to tell me about it sometime. Hey, wait a minute, Joey. Weren't you invited? Well, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's your party. You can invite whoever you want. Your name was on the list. My folks must have called you. Were you out this morning? I was fooling around in the garage for a while. Well, there you are. You mean I'm invited? Yeah. Gee, thanks. Hey, is Keith going? Yeah. That's funny. I, I just saw him. He didn't say anything about it. My folks must have missed him, too. I tell you, they just aren't well organized. Get a hold of Keith. Larry, Al, Harvey, and Pete. Make sure they're all there. Gotcha. Thank you. Shh, my sister's coming. Yeah, well, uh, okay, uh, Ross, old buddy. Uh, enjoy the <laughs> movie. Well, 
I got the tickets. Let's go. You bought tickets? What for? It's a little ceremony they make you go through before they let you in. Well, you mean you're going in, even though you saw the picture before? Who said I saw it? Well, weren't you going to say that? No. Well, then how? I mean, where? Uh, huh? What? Nothing, nothing. You know, they ought to write a science fiction picture about you. Come on. The monster already devoured half of New Jersey. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I know the movie is in progress, but couldn't you send someone to look for them, please? Uh, the boy is about four feet ten inches, with blonde hair and blue-gray eyes, and he wears uh, uh, glasses, uh, brown fraying glasses. And Patty is very easy to recognize. She looks a lot like me. I'm sorry, I mean... Yes, I know your theater must be very crowded, but this is important. Oh, no, it, it's not exactly an emergency. It's, it's more of a crisis. <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh, oh. oh Excuse me. Uh, oh, sorry. 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 No, not yet. Where do we hide? Dad, follow me. Right this way, boy. Yes, well, that's cool, I tell you. Yes. Oh, 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 oh
Aunt Natalie, do you think these are enough sandwiches? No, but it's all we have. Well, I'll take the coffee and cake into the bridge game. How was the group in the patio doing? Well, I don't know how much longer I can keep them under control. They want Ross. So do I. Maybe we should just have sent them to the movie. That's not a bad idea. And this is the last time I will ever surprise Ross by not giving him a surprise party. Shall we uh, press on? Courage. Forgive me. Oh, stay away, partner. We're winning. That looks delicious. Shall we take a break? Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm home, honey. He's coming, Aunt Natalie. Who's coming? Ross, he and Patch are coming down the street. Big deal. Oh, hey, Get it into your head. There's no birthday party. Sure, sure. Look, you know what's going on in there now? Mama's bridge club. Of course. Okay, I give up. I guess you'll just have to learn to face life. Thanks for everything, sis. This is gonna be the best surprise party I've ever had. Wait. Uh, I can't let you go in there. You mean they aren't ready yet? Ross. I don't want you to be hurt. I'm the one who said you shouldn't have a party. I was doing it for your own good. At least I thought I was doing it for your own good. There is no party. That house isn't full of my buddies waiting for me. No. I'm sorry. If they are inside waiting to shower me with presents, what will you give me? What do you mean? Will you be my slave for a month? Yeah, sure, but Ross... That's all I want to know. Can I go in now? Yeah. Just wait till you see the surprise expression I have this year. Well, hello, darling. Back from the movies already? Yeah. What happened to your bridge club? Surprise! <laughs> As near as I can figure it out, it was a case of spontaneous combustion. Yeah, but nobody planned a birthday party. Oh, I think you're mistaken, Patty. I am? Ross did. Oh, Slay, could you carry these presents into the living room for me? He's got them for a whole month. <laughs> Ross, how many times have I told you about reading at the table? Oh, I have to do this for a book report in school tomorrow. Oh, slave, could you turn the page for me? <laughs> turn the... Yes, Ross. How's that? Thanks. Sure. I want you to save your strength, because when this month is over, you're going to need it. <laughs> oh, uh, isn't it about time for... Uh... I get it, Aunt Natalie. I'll get it. That kid's a born slave. <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, dear. Ross. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Go ahead, make a wish and blow out the candle. Very. <gasps> blow them out. Here's Kathy, who's lived most everywhere, from Zanzibar to Barclay Square. But 
daddy's only seen the sights a girl can see from Brooklyn Heights. What a crazy pair. But they're cousins, identical cousins, and you'll find. They laugh alike, they walk alike, at times they even talk alike. 